In today's video, we are going to find out if the brand new iPhone 12 Pro can stand a chance against a professional quality microphone Rode NT4 in a home studio environment. Here is how our home studio setup looks like. As you can tell, the Rode microphone and the iPhone 12 Pro are placed at exactly the same height and distance from where I'll be performing and I'm capturing the sound from the Rode mic on the Zoom H5 recorder. So yeah, let's see if iPhone has what it takes to take on that fight. If you know this piece, please consider subscribing. Here are our contenders, iPhone 12 Pro. It has a built-in stereo microphone and I'm using an app called Pro Camera to record it because I'm able to specify the frequency and the resolution. So we record at 48 kilohertz at 24 bits. Rode NT4, stereo condenser microphone, gold spattered diaphragm capsules in a fixed X, Y, 90 degree position. Well, what it really means is that the whole unit is sort of self-contained. So you have only one microphone that you have to worry about. You just set it about four feet away from you, hit record. So that really saves on the hassle. For today's recording, we are using a Zoom H5 recorder that feeds phantom power to the mic at 48 volts. And we're recording at 48 kilohertz at 24 bit. For this test portion of the video, I strongly recommend using headphones. Now let's move on to some musical selection. Let's try some mid-register now. I think when I play on the E string, it's pretty clear which one is the more expensive uh, device for recording. I mean, the road is just uh, so much clearer. But when we get into the mid register, it, this is very surprising. I mean, the iPhone actually sounds very pleasing. So, well, I guess we gotta do some more testing. Okay, let's play something high and fast. Time for some G-string action. Vivaldi doesn't give us much of a low register. So, let's try something different. I had a heck of a time uh, listening back and forth to try to determine what to say to the camera after I did all that test and to be quite honest with you, this is hard because um, yes, there is a difference in the quality between the iPhone and the Rode NT4 and obviously once you get to the higher end equipment, you can start to hear uh, more clarity, uh, kind of better sound stage. But I would say for like a casual use, the iPhone 12 Pro, if it's set up correctly, um, you know, in the right place when you're trying to record uh, an instrument, it's a it's a hell of a tool. I'm, I mean, I'm very surprised. I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. Uh, again, I um, I think I should invest probably maybe in some better uh, monitor speakers and headphones. I have a uh, this guy. I also have a Sony Studio headphones that I'm listening with, and you know, I mean, this is tough. So anyway, if you enjoyed this <laughs> and would you would like to go on more adventures with me, then please consider liking and subscribing. You know the drill and I'll see you guys later.